So some of you have subscribed to see the print and see DIY CNC project. And I did want to give just a really honest update on the project. It's been a long time and what's happened is a business and life has just kind of gotten away from me. And so I don't have the time to dedicate to finishing the project, but I did want to show what it looks like. I'll flip the camera around here. Um, so this is what it looks like right now. I just wanted to give a quick overview, pretty much a standard size print and see. Uh, and then what I ended up doing was doing the T-Track with the three-quarter MDF in between. The Axiom C CNCs have this similar type of work holding, except it's extruded aluminum, so it's much more sturdy. This was, I think, could have been a really great system. Obviously, I haven't been able to try it, but um, so that's how I set that up. This is just a three-quarter inch piece of plywood, obviously bolted onto the frame. And it's, you know, it, it's pretty much there in terms of assembly and wiring and everything else. You know, everything's pretty much hooked up. It just came down to controlling it. As you can see, it's a rat's nest in the, in the um, enclosure there. You know, I just, like I said, I got too busy with life and it became so complicated and I was having so much issues and just investing so much time into it. So there are more people getting into the print and see world and I'll link some below, some videos below where you can see their progress and stuff. Um, for me, in my point of life, this just wasn't working. So. Um, but I did enjoy the process of learning about it. So if you want to see some of those videos, I'll link them here Otherwise, we'll see in, in some other project videos in the future So you might be wondering well Michael if you stopped this print and see project What are you going to use for a CNC? Well, I ended up ordering a machine that's ready to go So that'll be in a video that I'll link up here and you can go check that out